Well, good morning, you sexy little TikToky bastards. Uh, should we do a one take? One take, that's all we're gonna do, no editing. Let's talk about the Tamworth by-election today, shall we? Rock and roll, right? Sexy stuff. So Tamworth is a constituency that was previously chaired or headed or like had Chris Pincher installed. You might remember that name, Chris Pincher, Pincher by name, Pincher by nature. He was ousted from this seat uh, by Boris Johnson, but it's kind of weird because it was like a reciprocal ousting. Boris Johnson begrudgingly fired him or had him deselected or encouraged him to resign. But equally, it was Chris Pincher who basically forced out Boris Johnson. Everyone always talks about Partygate, like, oh, it's just a bit of partying, it's just a bit of cake. That's what did for Boris Johnson. Well, yeah, like that was a, a strong element of the foundation. But actually, the real like catalyst, the real straw that broke the camel's back was the Pincher scandal. It was the fact that Boris Johnson said, I didn't have any idea about his reputation. And in actual fact, what came out in the wash was that he absolutely did know about his reputation because he was stood there giving a speech within Whitehall saying, oh, Pincher by name, Pincher by nature. So Pincher was forced to resign. And now Tamworth is one of these true blue conservative safe seats. To give you an idea of how safe this conservative seat is or was, in 2019 at the election, it was Tory with a 20% swing. <laughs> 20%. Now it's polling Labour and Tory neck and neck. So it's really interesting. That gives you an idea. That is illustrative of how badly the Conservative vote has collapsed through the end of days of Boris Johnson to Liz Truss into the Rishi Sunak period. It's just that majority is no longer there. Is any Conservative seat safe? if the polling is looking as poor as this for Conservative leaders, and especially after conference. Typically, traditionally, after a conference, you would see a bounce in the Conservative leaders' approval ratings. You're not seeing that at the moment. You're actually seeing the precise opposite. Sunak's favourability rating has gone down even lower since his Conservative conference. His approval rating now, his favourability rating, is through the floor. And if we just pan out for a second, show you the scores on the doors, scores on the board or whatever, uh, this is, I think, the seventh by-election that they will have lost if they go on to lose this on Thursday. Uh, it would be in a row with the exception of, like, Uxbridge. They narrowly won Uxbridge. Made me laugh the way that that result was interpreted. People, people are like, voters have roundly rejected Labour's green extreme agenda. It's like, no, like, you, you narrowly clung on to that seat. And it's a seat that Labour have never held anyway, as far as I'm aware. Anyway, the by-election is on Thursday, and I reckon if they lose it, could be a GE announced.